rather than calling this a Parsha preview, let's label it a letter from the rabbi. Dear friends, we really are living in crazy times. An explanation that one noted rabbi gave for why God had brought on the coronavirus was to prevent Jews from going to expensive hotels for Pesach. But what about Shavuos? None of us go away, and not only are the hotels still sort of out of bounds, but so is our synagogue. Who would have ever thought? It's gratifying how well our Zoom and videos and classes and lectures and evening services have been received, but all this cannot compare to being together in person. The holiday of Shavuos is referred to as the Chag HaBikurim, the holiday of the first fruits. It was on Shavuot that the farmers from all over Israel came to Jerusalem bearing the first fruits from their harvest and offering them in gratitude to God. The Talmud describes it as an extremely festive occurrence. Interestingly, Maimonides in describing it tells us he who brings the first fruits has permission to give them to his servant or relative to carry the whole way until he reaches the outer precincts of the temple. But when he reached the outer precincts of the temple, he has to take the basket himself on his own shoulders, even if he be a great king in Israel. The contemporary lesson is clear. There's just so much you can do by Zoom and FaceTime and Facebook and FedEx. But there are things that only you can do. Hugs, kisses, schmooze, things you can't do alone. You can pray alone, but only when you come to shul can you kiss the Torah and each other, hug the rabbis and canter, and catch up on the latest of what's going on while davening and singing as well. So why haven't we reopened? Because your rabbis and others greater than us say that to do so would be a violation of the Jewish law, which states a danger to life, no matter how small, is even stricter than a Torah prohibition. Let me quote to you the words of Reb Meir Tversky, a noted Rosh Yeshiva at Yeshiva University and grandson of the late great Rabbi Joseph Soloveitchik. He writes, when speaking of opening synagogues at this time, we must not look for so-called loopholes or so-called solutions, which at best may mitigate, but certainly will not eliminate the dangers of this disease. The Torah absolutely condemns and forbids acting in a way which under any circumstances may allow for the death of a Jew. And listen to these closing words. It is possible to wait for prayer in synagogues but it's impossible to return a Jewish life to the world. That's why we remain closed. We cherish you, each and every one of you. Your safety comes before all else. We patiently and eagerly await your hugs and kisses. Chak Sameach, have a wonderful Shavuot.